Hello, teacher. May I come in, please? I need to talk to you. Who is it? Never mind. Come in. I'm not busy now. Good morning, teacher. I'm sorry to bother you. I've been struggling with something, and I hope you can help. I get really nervous when I have to speak in English, especially in front of others. I failed at that. I couldn't overcome my fear of speaking in English. Damn. It's holding me back from practicing and improving. Don't worry. You're learning English and that's part of that process. And now I'm gonna help you with that, okay? I understand how nerve-wracking speaking in a new language can be. It's a common challenge. But the good news is that there are strategies to help you overcome this nervousness. Let's work on building your confidence step by step. Can you tell me more about what makes you nervous? I think it's the fear of making mistakes and not sounding fluent. I worry that others will judge me or not understand what I'm saying. It's natural to have those concerns, but remember that making mistakes is a normal part of learning. Native speakers understand that you're still learning and are usually very supportive. Let's focus on a few techniques to help you manage your nervousness. That sounds great. I'm open to trying anything that can help me feel more at ease. What's the first step? One effective technique is to practice deep breathing before speaking. Taking slow, deep breaths helps. Calm your nerves and gives you a moment to collect your thoughts. Deep breathing sounds like a simple yet powerful tool. I'll try it next time I need to speak in English. What else can I do? Visualization can help too. Before a conversation, Imagine yourself speaking confidently and clear. Visualizing positive outcomes can boost your confidence and reduce anxiety. Visualization sounds interesting. I'll try to visualize successful conversations before I actually have them. What about dealing with mistakes? Embrace mistakes as part of the learning process. Instead of fearing them, view them as opportunities for improvement. Don't be afraid to correct yourself if you realize you've made mistake mid-sentence. That's a good perspective. I'll try to change how I think about mistakes. And you're right, correcting myself should help me feel more in control. What if I don't know a word while speaking? If you can't recall a specific word, don't panic. Use other words to describe what you mean. Or try explaining the word you're looking for. Native speakers often appreciate your effort to communicate. That's a relief. I've had moments where I blank out because I can't remember a word. Describing it instead seems like a practical solution. How can I practice speaking without feeling overwhelmed? Start by having short conversations with close friends or family who understand your learning journey. Gradually increase the complexity of your conversations as you feel more comfortable. 
Conversations with familiar people do seem less intimidating. I'll try to build my confidence slowly by having more of these interactions. What if I have to speak in a formal or professional setting? For formal situations, preparation is key. Outline what you want to say and practice it a few times. Before the actual conversation, this helps you feel more confident and less anxious. That's a practical approach. Planning what I want to say should make me feel more confident when speaking formally. But what if I'm still nervous before speaking? Try progressive muscle relaxation. Tense and then release different muscle groups in your body to release tension. This technique can help calm your nerves. Progressive muscle relaxation sounds like a unique method. I'll definitely give it a try. What about when I'm speaking to native speakers? Native speakers understand that English might not be your first language. If you're struggling, you can kindly ask them to speak slowly or repeat themselves. Asking them to slow down or repeat themselves is a good idea. It's better to ask than to feel lost in the conversation. How can I build my speaking confidence over time? Set small goals for yourself. Start by speaking in English for a few minutes each day. Gradually increase the time as you become more comfortable. Celebrate your achievements along the way. Small goals sound achievable. Celebrating my progress will definitely motivate me to keep going. What if I want to practice speaking alone? Record yourself speaking on different topics. Listen to the recordings and note areas you want to improve. This self-assessment can be incredibly valuable for self-guided improvement. Recording myself is an interesting idea. It will help me identify areas for improvement that I might not notice while speaking. What if I feel like my accent is a barrier? Embrace your accent as part of your identity. Accents are natural and add uniqueness to your speech. Focus on clear communication rather than trying to eliminate your accent. That's a comforting perspective. I'll try to embrace my accent and focus more on being understood. How can I overcome nervousness during conversations? Engage in conversations that genuinely interest you when you're passionate about the topic. You'll likely become more absorbed in the conversation, reducing nervousness. That makes sense. Engaging in topics I'm passionate about should help distract me from my nervousness. What if I freeze during a conversation? If you find yourself stuck, take a deep breath and ask a follow-up question too. Keep the conversation going. This gives you a moment to regroup. Asking a follow-up question sounds like a practical way to steer the conversation back on track. I'll remember that. What if I need more structured practice? Join conversation clubs or language exchange groups. These settings provide a comfortable space. 
Practice speaking with others who are also learning. Joining a conversation club sounds like a great idea. It's reassuring to know I'll be practicing with fellow learners. How can I track my progress? Keep a speaking journal where you note down conversations, topics, and new vocabulary you've used. Over time, you'll see how much you've improved. A speaking journal is a creative way to track my progress. Looking back at my entries should give me a sense of accomplishment. How long does it usually take to feel less nervous while speaking? Improvement varies, but with consistent practice, many learners start feeling more confident within a few months. The key is to practice regularly and be patient with yourself. Yeah. I'll remember to be patient and not expect overnight changes. Consistent practice seems to be the key. Thank you so much for all these strategies, teacher. You're welcome. Remember that overcoming nervousness is a gradual process. And I'm here to support you every step of the way. Keep practicing, and you'll see progress. I appreciate your support and guidance, teacher. I'm already feeling more motivated to work on my speaking skills now. That's wonderful to hear. If you have any questions or need further assistance, don't hesitate to reach out. Keep up the great work, and remember that your efforts will pay off. Thank you, teacher. I'll definitely stay in touch and continue practicing. Have a fantastic day. Can you give me more tips about how to improve my English, please? They're really helpful. Sure but maybe some other time. Now, we ran out of time. Maybe in a next video. Of course, only if our subscribers want another video about tips to improve your English. Dear listeners, I hope you like this conversation. If you cool and improve your English a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with friends. And if you want to support this channel, you can join us or click on the Soper Think button. Thanks.